guys, welcome back to my channel Blush Strokes by Prisha. My name is Prisha Golani and how are you guys doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to look fabulous, amazing on a video call. So I know that most of us are spending a lot of time on Zoom call, FaceTime, Google Hangouts, WhatsApp calls, be it your online college classes or any other classes or your office meetings or catching up with your friends and family or also your crushes and your boyfriends. So this is going to be a new normal for all of us for I don't know how long. So these tips are going to be really helpful in making you feel and look amazing on a video call and present yourself in a much better way with a five minute quick makeup tutorial. So if you guys are interested to watch this video, stay tuned. Tip number one, good lighting for a video call. Whatever may be your device, phone or laptop, try to find a place where you get enough light on your face. Avoid backlighting. It can make you look like meh samay hoon. And avoid lighting from the top. It can create shadows on your face. If you can find a window with natural lighting, that's the best. But make sure that the light is not too harsh on your face. Tip number two, camera distancing. Keep a good distance from your camera and keep camera at your eye level. When parents don't understand technology. Ha, ruk ja. Ha, sonu, ab dikh rahi hu. Ab, ab dikh rahi hu main. Aray bhai, kyu apni double chin ka pradarshan kar rahe ho? कैमरा को ऐसे रखो जैसे नजर के सामने खिड़की के पास दिस इज कॉल्ड एज परफेक्ट लाइटिंग एंड कैमरा एट आई लेवल टिप नंबर थ्री विजिटर्स नॉट अलाउड वेन यूर इन अ जूम ऑफिस मीटिंग एंड नोइंगली योर हजबेंड एंटर्स द रूम इन हिज शॉर्ट्स Make sure you inform your children about your call so that they don't embarrass you like this gentleman who was getting interviewed on a news channel. Tip number 4, what to wear on such video calls. PJs have been our go-to outfit in quarantine. So if you have a office meeting, just wear a solid plain shirt on top of your pajama. Or wear a plain white or bright color t-shirt for any classes or just wear a blazer over your t-shirt to give you a formal look. Tip number 5 hair and makeup for video call So the final tip in this video is managing your look your hair and makeup So make sure you're not playing a lot with your hair when someone's talking to you like I have seen a lot of people like this really playing with their hair like this like all the time making their hair like as if they're not interested in the opposite person who is talking but make sure that I look good and have that bounce in my hair So don't do all this. Just try to tuck in your hair behind your ears. That makes it very clean and nice for you. For you, your face is visible to the opposite person, and he's not. He or she is not getting distracted by you fiddling your hair. So make sure you do that. If your hair is short, you can always tuck it behind your ears. And if you have long hair, then maybe you can tie a sleek ponytail or maybe a nice bun behind. It hardly takes five minutes. It's not a big job to do. Finally, wear a little bit of makeup and look presentable in front of the camera. Keep it basic. You don't have to go full blown smoky eye for your people. You just have to keep it simple and basic. Maybe focus on the key areas of your face and look a little bit rosy. So this is the look that I have created for a video call. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So to start this look, I'm hydrating my face with Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus by spraying it all over my face. Then I'm moisturizing my face with Pond Super Light Gel. It's great for oily skin and it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E to give that glow. Then I'm using a BB cream by Pond's to make my face look even and clean. You can stop your base here or else you can take a concealer to conceal only your pigmented areas like under eyes and any marks and dab them with a beauty blender. Finally I'm setting my concealer with a compact powder so that it looks all well put up. 
Now I am only focusing on the key areas of my face so naturally filling my brows with the brow definer by Nykaa. And then I'm using a pink nude lipstick on my lips. You don't have to perfectly apply it. Then use the same lip color on your cheeks and your eyes and blend it to give it a flushed look. Lastly, apply a regular non-waterproof mascara as this opens up the eye and makes it look very beautiful. Once you're ready, accessorize it with small earrings to complete the look. Finally, I'm zoom ready with my hair tucked in and flushed rosy face. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up or comment below. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get my new video updates. Thank you so much for watching my video. Love you all.